Hello, I am Bishop Earl Boyer of the Diocese of Lansing. During this Holy Easter season, I invite you to join me for some brief reflections on seven words of the risen Lord. May they help to open our hearts so that burning within us, they will welcome the Lord of glory. Would they be next? Jesus had been falsely accused and executed. Would the authorities now pounce on them? So they hid in that upper room and they locked the door. No one could come in, but they could not go out. They were filled with fear. And then Jesus appears. He breaks through their fear and says, peace be with you. St. Mark's extended chapter 16 says that Jesus came to rebuke the 11 because of their lack of faith, because of their hardness of heart. St. Luke, on the other hand, has Jesus use the same words as in John's gospel, peace be with you. Luke notes that the apostles were terrified and troubled. I would guess that all of these emotions were filling the hearts of Jesus' followers. Thus, Jesus says a second time in John's Gospel, peace be with you. That is what Jesus wants for his band of friends, that all their other emotions be overcome and that they be filled with peace. But Jesus knows that peace is not something that we conjure up on our own. We do not, by sheer willpower, quiet our chaos and bring order to our minds or hearts or souls. Only one can bring order out of chaos, creation out of emptiness, victory out of defeat, life out of death, the Holy Spirit. And so Jesus breathes again the divine breath that Adam once knew. The Holy Spirit is poured into their lives. This peace, this Holy Spirit, however, is never meant just for the 11. It cries out to be shared. And so Jesus sends them forth to forgive sins. I find this incredibly bold. These sinners, manifest betrayers, these hiding cowards, are given the mission to bring the peace of forgiveness and healing to the world. That Jesus chose to spread divine peace in this way by means of sinful men is simply remarkable. This is also a reminder. The work of the Holy Spirit is the work of God, not that of man, even though God uses us for his own purposes. Brothers and sisters, Come to the church, which is herself a body of sinners. Come to the priest, a sinner himself, and there encounter the healing, the forgiveness, the peace beyond all understanding.